everyone, it's iTalkApple, and today I'm back after two months of dormancy to make a What's on My iPad video. This is version 2 because I have another What's on My iPad, but it's from several months ago, so I called that version 1. I'll try to keep this as an ongoing series since I do have a lot of apps. Um, these are apps that I like, but I didn't want to do like full-on reviews of because there are definitely a couple of apps that I want to just do 10 minute videos about. <laughs> so look forward to those uh, this summer, hopefully. Enjoy the video and definitely stay till the end for some more talking. <laughs> so the first app I'm going to show you is Bumpy Road. It's a game and it's available on the App Store for $2.99 as of today because that price can definitely change. When I got this game it was actually free so it was a really good deal. Um, so there's different versions of the game that you can play. I'm just going to choose Evergreen Ride to show you. And the goal is to keep this car moving as long as possible. And you do that by uh, collecting these little gizmos. And so you have to drag your finger along the screen to create bumps in the road to help you to accelerate and go forwards or backwards if you create like a bump in front of the car. And so the gizmos add fuel to your tank and sometimes if you get a lot of them your fuel will go to full and you'll get this like bonus screen where there's no like um, hazards around. So I'm approaching a hazard because of this um, sign so I have to jump over it. and Usually to jump you have to accelerate before jumping because otherwise the jump is too short and then you'll die. So that's the game. You just kind of maneuver your finger around the screen and try to collect as many of these things as possible to get a higher score and also to last through the game. So I like this game because it is really addictive but at the same time it's not frustrating or I guess it can get frustrating but um, it's addictive, it's kind of relaxing in a way, um, especially with the music. I don't have the music on because I want you to be able to hear me talk. Um, I like the controls, it's really fluid, it's well made, I like like the graphics. Um, and it's a useful game to play when you're bored just to pass the time, say, during commercials when you're watching TV. Or um, I can actually play this game for like an hour because I get so addicted to it. So the next app I'm going to feature is TED. Hopefully you've all heard of TED Talks. Anyway, um, they're just really fascinating, fascinating videos, they're really informative, they're inspirational. Every good adjective you can think of, that's what a TED Talk is. So you can browse through featured talks here. There's a lot of TED Talks, so this app just makes it a lot easier to get through them. Um, for example, uh, one of my favorites is Brian Greene's Is Our Universe the Only Universe? I've been really into astronomy lately, so... Yeah, you should follow me on Tumblr to see really cool astronomy-related posts if you're interested in that. So I'm actually going to bookmark this talk, and now that it's bookmarked, I can go to My Talks and look at my bookmarks here, and it's been added. As you can see, all my uh, bookmarks are sort of space-related. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll go back to Featured. And so you can watch the talk, obviously. You can see what you might want to watch next. Uh, go to related themes and tags. This is a good way to find more talks that you'd be interested in. So I can select Cosmos and see more talks that are tagged Cosmos. Um, another cool feature is this Inspire Me option. You just pick a random sort of vague adjective that you're interested in. So for example, Inspiring. And let's say we have a lot of time, 35 minutes. And it gives me a playlist of two videos, 34 minutes worth of inspiring talks. And I can watch, or I can watch it, save it to watch later. So, and then of course you've got the search option. You can look through all the talks um, based either on themes or on tags. There's a lot of tags. Anyway, sorry I spent so much time on this app. It's really intuitive, and it's a great way to browse through so many TED Talks. So this next app is really popular, and it's been out for a while. It's also recently won an Apple Design Award, and it is Paper. It's a really useful app just for sketching, doodling, um, jotting down ideas, brainstorming, anything really that you want to use it for. 
Um, and I also find it really therapeutic. It's really well designed and um, well made. So they've got a really good example notebook to show what you can do with it. Um, I think that the multi-touch gestures are implemented really well. You sort of, well you can tap and then you can zoom out by pinching and then to close the notebook you just zoom out again. And there's just so much that you can do with it that I'm not talented enough to do. Um, so I have a little notebook of drawings here. You can see my artistic ability. I was testing the blending feature with the sort of watercolor brush thing. I drew a caterpillar. I drew a butterfly. Yeah, so I'm going to show you an example. You can hit the plus button to add a new page. And we'll open the page up. Um, the tool drawer is really cool because you pull up to reveal it or you can pull it down. Um, and this is a free app, but if you want access to all the tools, you have to pay. When you get the app for free, you only have access to the this pen tool and the eraser. So I actually bought the brush because I really wanted to try out the watercolor thing, but I don't use this app so often that I would need all of the tools. So I'm just going to demonstrate the watercolor thing. So we'll select a color, and um, the faster you sort of drag your finger, the lighter or more watery the color is. And you can like attempt to blend. That is Paper by 53. Next I have another game to show you. It is free on the App Store right now, and it's called Jetpack Joyride. I think this also won an Apple Design Award. Um, so it's made by Half Brick, the same people who made Fruit Ninja. Uh, it's just, it's a fun game. I like these simple sort of five minute type games, although it could last a lot longer than five minutes if you're actually good at it. So we've got this guy with this jetpack and you tap the screen and hold down for him to fly. And you've got these like weird scientist people on the bottom and you want to collect coins. Because the coins actually let you buy stuff in the store, like better gear and like power-ups and stuff. Like this gravity suit, for example. Um, I'm not really good at using the gravity suit. To be honest, I'm just not good at this game, but I like it. I, I enjoy it. It's fun. And so you want to avoid these like electricity things, otherwise you die. And you have to avoid like missiles and stuff like that. Oh wait, I didn't die because I was wearing that suit. That's the thing about the suits, you get like an extra life in a way. So I'm just going to die on purpose. And um, with the spin tokens, it's sort of like, it's like gambling, it's like at a casino slot machine. Anyway, so if you get three of the same thing, then you get like bonus points or more coins or like an extra life or something like that. So. As you can see, I can hit the stash, and that lets me look at um, jetpacks to buy, but I don't really have much money, um, or vehicle upgrades. This is just a fun time waster. It's another one of those games that's good to play like during commercials. So the next app that I really like using on my iPad is Iris. It's an Instagram viewer for iPad since... Uh, Instagram doesn't actually have an official iPad app, which is quite frustrating. So you can view um, posts from people who you follow. Um, and you can also view what's popular on Instagram. Or you can look at your own profile and see pictures that you've posted. By the way, shout out to the awesome people at Google. I actually got to meet some YouTube engineers uh, last week. And I got to take a picture of this wall. It was an amazing experience and I'm really thankful that I got to go to Google. Anyway, uh, you can also tap this icon to see where your followers on Instagram are concentrated. So you can see you've got a lot of people in this area. Um, you can look at who you're following, like view their profile. Uh, this person takes really good pictures. You should all follow him on Instagram if you do not already. And then you could even see where their followers are from. So it's cool, it gives you some cool demographics. Um, 
of course you can comment on people's pictures from this app and stuff like that. And the final app that I want to show you, first of all, I'm sorry I had to change the camera angle and sorry it's kind of a at a weird angle. Um, the app is called Spell Tower. This is one of those games that you play if you want to give your brain some exercise. Um, so I'm just going to do um, tower mode. The goal is to get as many points possible from all these letters on the screen. So you want to make words that will get you the most points. So you're not going to necessarily um, go for the first word that you find. So for example, oh, I see that there's a word fig. But that's only 21 points, it's only three letters. I don't think that that's good enough for me to use. A better word than fig would be, whoops, signal. So you can see that's 330 points, which is pretty good. And uh, when I got that word, the rest of the block sort of dropped down. And you just keep doing this um, until... Um, you can't make any words. That is Spell Tower. You can also do multiplayer, which I just noticed that for the first time. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video, unless you just skipped to the end of the video, but what do I care? You got it here somehow. Um, I just wanted to tell you, you should follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash italkapple if you're not following me, because I tweet a lot more often than I post videos. You can also follow me on Tumblr, italkapple.tumblr.com for super geeky, astronomy and tech and anything else that interests me type of posts and yeah so on the side here feel free to click on an annotation to a video that you've probably already watched but if you're a new viewer then definitely click on one of these videos that you might be interested in watching um, yeah also thank you so much for watching my videos and sticking with me even though I haven't been posting consistently um, it's because of school sorry kind of comes first. Um, so, but it's summer, so hopefully I'll be able to post like on a weekly basis. And yeah, I really do sincerely appreciate all the support, all the nice comments, all the replies on Twitter, all the emails. Keep sending them. I really like them. It brightens my day. Um, yeah, so thanks again for watching and have a good day wherever you are.